Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today I want to look at a feature of my favourite calendar application that's unknown to many people yet it forms a really important part of my workflow as I work on hyper-scheduling my life and making sure that I can fit everything in. Now Fantastical by Flexibits is my calendar app of choice on all platforms and the ability to create templates for appointments and tasks that happen often yet not on regular dates or times is a real boon and it saves me a not inconsiderable amount of time when I'm scheduling my week ahead. Today, I just want to spend a short amount of time showing you how you can set them up, and I guess more importantly, some use cases that may help you realize you actually need this in your life as well. Okay, I'm here in Fantastic Out on the Mac, and I'm going to schedule next week's appointments in here. Now, I'm starting here from a completely clean slate, and I have no templates in my setup here at the moment, so I'm going to create a brand new appointment. Now I could press the plus button, but I'll double click instead on the date and time that I want the appointment to start. I'll give it a title. So this is going to be some screencast online video prep. And I'm just going to adjust the amount of time that I want this event to last. Now, I usually work in two hour chunks using the Pomodoro technique, so I'll make that two hours here. I'll adjust the calendar and make this event part of my SCO calendar. And I'll also change the colour because I like my prep tasks to be a different colour to my recording ones, but still on the same calendar. So I'll make this orange. Now I could set some alerts and change my status from busy as well as change some more attributes for the task, but I'll get to that later. I think this will do for now. So I'll click add event. And the event is scheduled in as we would expect. Now, if I want to save this particular event configuration as a template, I can right click on it and select create template. Now when I come up to the plus button up here and click to create a new event, any templates that I've set up will appear just below. And if I click on one, then all of the configuration settings for it appear and I can adjust as I wish to suit the new event that I'm creating. So I'll change this date, for example, to the 19th and I'll change the time to 11 a.m. So the event appears and I haven't had to change the calendar or any other settings there. And whilst I can't make it a repeating event because it happens at different times on different days dependent on my circumstances, I can still make adding these entries a lot easier. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.